in college, in college students. Colleges are so expensive right now. We want to promote the students to go to college so they can get a good education, so they can give back to the economy with their jobs and et cetera. Uh, not only allow high achieving um, public school students to attend public university with a less, less, lesser burden financially, but it also encourages other students who might not strive for academic, academic excellence on their own to set higher aspirations and goals academically for themselves if they realize that they can receive more help financially to attend university. With that, I will my time back to you. So, Thank you, Representative. If you don't like the way executive powers work in this country, you change it at the ballot box. You do not mute me. And that's what this is. Thank you. I enjoyed it. You threw my time. Majority is about Chamber. You're right, but the last time I 
check. State law does not override federal law. And this would, I would never vote for anything that would go straight to the federal Supreme Court and get shot down. Two, this violates the Voting Rights Act of 1965, the 14th and 15th Amendment being held up. This is bribery and it's illegal, federally, period. You can't vote for something that is illegal by the federal government. Lastly, this is just a slippery slope. We start paying people to vote, what's going to happen? I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen. We're going to start forcing people to vote. And what are we trying to do, create a totalitarian regime? Yes. That's not something I ever want to ever support. You're I give the rest of my time to the minority. Minority leader. Simulation possible. Overall, I want to offer a new perspective. This position would allow for a wonderful and uh, invaluable experience for me and a growing opportunity as well. Thank you, Carlos.